I decided to take a look at my personal relationship with plastics by watching the show Broken, specifically the episode called Recycling Sham, that delves into the dirty side of our wasted plastic. Now, we've all been taught, a lot of us from a young age, that recycling is always the answer. But this episode delves behind the scenes of this recycling, or more appropriately called, let's all ship it to China until they don't want it anymore, and then we ship it to Malaysia, because that's way easier than us dealing with our own personal wasted material. The countries that we are sending our wasted materials to are drowning in it. The imports are coming faster than they are able to process this material. So it either sits there untouched, or they burn it, or it goes straight to a landfill. And those landfills are usually next to wetlands or streams, which endangers the entire ecosystem of that area. And this reminded me of a movement I took part in in my undergraduate years, and kind of got in trouble for. My university was situated along the Tennessee River, meaning that there were a lot of wetlands that fed into that river system nearby. And these wetlands were owned and managed by the city's environmental department. And one nearby wetland in particular was sitting in the middle of an industrial district, or I guess I should say the industrial district was built around the wetland. And right next to this wetland was a waste management company that prided itself into beautifying the city by removing all the waste from the public eye. However, they had a dirty habit of being loose with the waste that they pick up. There is a direct stream from the factory into the wetland nearby. We decided to take action and organize a cleanup within our school. We pulled out tires and bicycles and road signs and most memorable, we pulled out a piece of plastic from 1990. And it was heartbreaking to see how the wildlife had adapted to these materials being in their environment. We saw tadpoles swimming in glass bottles. We saw salamanders resting in Tupperware. We saw birds and beavers making things out of straws. And when we tried to make a difference within this community, the politics of our university said no, they wanted nothing to do with it. So we kind of got shut down, but we cleaned it up. Anyways, relating this experience with the overall message of the episode really brought on conflicting thoughts. The episode depicted tons and tons and tons of wasted material littering these countries, which billions of people contributed to. So I'm thinking, what difference can I really make? I can stop recycling for one because it's really not doing much for anyone. My cleaned and sorted materials will be mixed with someone else's uncleaned and unsorted plastics. And even if it is properly sent to be recycled, it won't be, at least for a while. The rate at which plastics, single-use plastics specifically, are being used and discarded is something I don't like to think about. Even if I am just minding my own business and worrying about my effect on the industry, it's still happening. On the other hand, I can't weigh my shoulders or burden myself about what other people are doing. I need to look at my own relationship with plastic and other wasted materials and try to do what's best. The solution to plastic is obviously not recycling, so what can I do? I can try to upcycle or reuse or repurpose the plastics I have to purchase, and I can reduce or think twice about the plastics I don't have to purchase. The system we live in rewards laziness by allowing our consequences to disappear so we don't have to look at it. As much as I can wish cycle everything, there's never going to be a solution until we visualize the consequences of our actions. I decided to look at my relationship with wasted materials by not recycling anything. I've put all of my recyclables in my recycling bin, but haven't taken it anywhere. It sits in my house until I can figure out what I can do with it, which Sounds like what's happening with China and Malaysia. And with this decision, I can hopefully show myself how important it is not to rely on recycling alone and that I can reduce my dependence on plastics. Let's all DTR with plastic.